Hi everyone, I want to talk to you in this video about continuity. Now very often people think intuitively that a real valued function of a real variable is continuous if when drawing its graph we don't have to lift our pencil from the paper. This is wrong, as we're going to find out. Let's discover the maths. The first thing to say is that continuity is only applicable at points within a domain. That is, if f is a function defined on a domain d in R, then continuity is applicable only within d. So it doesn't make sense to say something like uh, the function f of x equals 1 over x is not continuous at 0. Zero doesn't belong to the domain of f, therefore f is neither continuous nor is f not continuous at zero. It doesn't mean anything to talk about the continuity at x equals zero, since x isn't in the domain. As an extension of the concept of continuity, we can talk about discontinuities. These lie outside the domain specifically in some accumulation points of the domain, which are points where we can calculate limits. In the case of f of x equals 1 over x, we can't calculate f at 0, but we can calculate the limit of f of x as x tends to 0. Since that limit is infinite, negative infinity or infinity, depending on how we approach zero, f has an infinite jump discontinuity at zero. But as we said earlier, f is neither continuous nor not continuous at zero. If we draw the graph of f of x going from left to right, eventually we lift the pencil to represent reaching toward zero. But f is continuous. And that's because it's continuous at any point in the domain. x equals 0 isn't a point in the domain. And so continuity isn't studied there. So f is a continuous function, and we lift the pencil from the paper. I know this may run counter to what you thought was true, but there it is. Now, you may say I'm cheating by considering a point that isn't in the domain. Well, we can also give an example where the considered point is a point in the domain. For example, the function f defined on the interval 0 to infinity union the set with the solitary element minus 3, such that f at minus 3 equals 1 and f of x equals root x. So, this would be the domain. And here we have the images. x equals minus 3 is a domain point, but we can't calculate the limit at x equals minus 3 because we can't approach it with domain points other than itself. In other words, x equals minus 3 is not an accumulation point of the domain. It's an isolated point. At these points, all we can do is simply state that the function is continuous there. There's nothing else we can do. And this isn't because I say so. It follows from the epsilon delta definition of continuity. So this is the graph of the function f. And to draw it, from minus 3 to 0, I lift the pencil from the paper. Yet this function is continuous because it's continuous for any point in the domain. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll check out some other of the videos on our Discover Math channel. And I hope to see you again very soon to discover more maths.